Alrighty YouTube, here's a video of a wheel horse I got. It's a 78C141. I actually got it free. Uh, my cousin had it, it was my uncle's previous to that. Cousin had issues with it starting and moving, so went over, picked it up. Didn't want anything for it, which great deal in my book. Uh, it's got the uh, Sunstrand 90, which is a hydrostatic transmission. It's got a 42 inch three blade deck. Uh, it also has the Kohler K321. Just want to show some of the features of it here. If you get a chance to pick one of these up, pretty nice mower. I've mowed with it a couple times. I like it. Probably going to get some new blades. Tried to sharpen them, but they're pretty old. So I'm going to show you one thing that I had a problem with. There's a plate here in the middle. You can see that's off. And I don't know if you can see that plastic part down there. See it here? It moves up and down when you move the motion control lever. And that actually controls the hydro and it controls your forward and backward speeds. So what happened is that plastic part in the middle there that's kind of a uh, tan looking color, it actually cracked. So you didn't have any control with the hydro. Anyways, I went to my uh, Toro wheel horse dealer. That is Toro part 5996. It's a $13 part. They at first thought it might be obsolete. I found it online at other places, but they wanted about 20 bucks of shipping and it doesn't weigh anything so I ordered it from them took about a week replaced it it's kind of a pain to put in there had to pry this right this piece back to get that in there pain in the ass there's probably a better way to do it nevertheless we got it working so I'm going to show you a couple features of the tractor here uh, like I said it is a hydro so it has infinitely variable speeds forward and backwards to show you some of the controls here on the left hand side here Here's your choke control, headlight control, uh, ignition switch, throttle control. This is your motion control lever. All the way back would be full reverse, all the way forward, full reverse, or for full forward speed. In the middle, that's neutral. When you press the brake all the way down, that will engage the, there's a drum brake on the back that'll engage that, and then it'll put it in neutral as well. This is your power takeoff engage, which right now it's currently hooked up to the, what I said, the 42 inch deck. Uh, I think they're 14 inch blades, whatever they are on there. There's where you can run your attachments from, as you can see, it's currently hooked up to the mowing deck. It's a pretty heavy duty mower, it's solid, weighs about 640, 650 pounds. Um, I couldn't, there is on this side, there is a release if you ever have a hydro. It's tough to see under here. I don't think I can even show it. There's a release you have to open and that'll allow you to push the hydro or the hydro equipped tractor because it'll lock. It has a, basically an automatic braking feature for lack of a better term. So we used a car jack to lift it up, lift it up in my trailer. It was extremely, extremely difficult. So it's gonna walk around, show you some views of it and then we'll start her up and let her run. See how smooth it runs. It's got a hitch on the back here. There's your, open this up here. Ignore this piece of wood, fuel tank. It's got the uh, cork on the filler. It's kind of cool, shows you the level. So I think it's about a three gallon tank. Here's your fluid for your hydro. The owner's manual says you can run 10W30 oil in it. That's actually got ATF fluid in it. I think it's wolf's head. In the back, I got a slight leak here you can see. That'll be another project for another day. These pins come out here. See these cotter pins down here, and you can mount a dozer or snow blade. I think it's a 42 inch they make, pretty cool. Uh, here's your fuel tank up here, your fuel shut off here. Uh, it's got the wheel horse logo on the back. That's your reflector tail lamps there. I don't think this is an original seat. It doesn't look to be the wheel horse original seat. Uh, down here, these I have a couple parts off here. There's a panel that goes here, which is off. This actually, you move this up and down. This disengages and engages your hydro. This is in disengaged position up. This controls your attachments, the hydro, hydro attachments like uh, moving your deck up and down, your uh, dozer blade, whatever you have hooked up. This is for the brake here. Push that down, put the brake in, that'll set the emergency brake. Uh, like I said, this is your motion control lever. Let me 
me show you the front here and then we'll take a look under the hood here. It does have headlights, they don't work. I haven't screwed with them yet. One of these days I will. Like I said, here it is, Kohler. It's a uh, 321, it's a 14 horse, single cylinder. The only thing I did to it, I haven't changed the oil yet, I'm gonna run straight 30 weight in it because I'm not gonna run it in cold weather, at least I don't plan to. Take a look at the engine, did put a new air cleaner on with a pre-cleaner. Got that at my wheel horse dealer. Probably could have got it cheaper online, but whatever. Didn't have to change the spark plug, did put some new battery cables on it. This does actually have a car battery in it. Uh, as you can see, this is an Autocraft battery. It's, uh, what is it, 525 cold cranking amps. It's overkill for the tractor, but she always starts. It's kind of a nice, uh, kind of a nice uh, addition that my uncle, I, th I believe my uncle put on there. So, let me go ahead. I did put a new fuel line on here. You can see that, that runs all the way underneath the engine there. Comes back there here to the back. The old one was pretty brittle from its age. And I put a new fuel filter on there too. So let's go ahead and close this guy up here. And we'll show you how it starts up here. Have the uh, hydro and disengage. Make sure the brake, actually all the safety switches have been disconnected. I think there always used to be one for the seat, so I don't necessarily have to sit on this to start it, but nevertheless, push the brake down. I'm gonna get up on here. Sit down here, adjust the choke a little bit. Turn up the idle just a tad. We're gonna fire her up. You can see she idles pretty good. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna, you're supposed to run the engine 75 or above 75% throttle when you're using the hydro attachments, or at least that's what the manual says. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank the engine up. I'm gonna show the uh, mower deck operation and then the uh, hydro lift feature on the mower deck.
So anyways, there's a quick review of my 78 Toro C-Series C141 wheel horse with a hydro and Kohler engine. Just wanted to give a quick overview. I haven't seen one on YouTube to give any details and if you're looking at buying one off Craigslist or whatever, or if you happen to get one for free like I did, I would definitely jump on it. Very heavy duty tractor, very nice. So far easy to work on and uh, maybe we'll do another video with it mowing and show how it works.